It's full, sherry rich. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have another Abelauer here in my cask. It's a 12 year old double cask and uh, well I had a 12 years old already but I think it was called select cask or alike and that one was an unchill filtered uh, single malt whiskey. And this one is more for the common it's 40% ABV, it's below 40 euros, pounds, dollars, and it's of course chill filtered and it's therefore prepared for the masses which might from time to time drop a cube of ice into the whiskey. Um, this one is called double cask and that means that the whiskey is matured in two different cask types for at least 12 years and is afterwards married together and distilleries typically marry for a certain time, some just a few days, some for a few months. How long a blower is marrying I have no idea. Let's have a look at the bottle. This 12 year old Abelauer has been matured in two cast types as I said traditional oak, that means ex-bourbon, refill, ex-bourbon, hogsheads, which are typically made out of ex-bourbon and are refill and sherry oak casks. Yeah, and Ablauer is very famous for its sherry cask maturation and uh, I had the 15 year old, I think I had all, as well the 16 year old, the 18 year old, oh wonderful. Yeah, especially selected Every year they are filled with whiskey and quietly aged for a minimum of 12 years. Then the casks are married together. So this is meant by double cask matured at the Abelauer distillery. Other distilleries, this double cask matured is no official attribute to a whiskey. Everybody can, can name its whiskey or this attribute as they want. So at other distilleries the double cast maturation might mean a finishing where the whiskey is at first matured in ex bourbon and afterwards filled in sherry cask. So here we have uh, two tribes of whiskey and they are married together. They are still a single malt because all the whiskey and all the casks came from Abelauer and were matured at Abelauer. Traditional oak casks encourage the subtle character of Abelauer to develop because American white oak is not that intense and uh, the refill cask will keep the distillery character high and will not overwhelm the whiskey with the oakiness. Uh, whilst sherry oak casks add hints of ruby, uh, add hints of ruby gold color yeah, and a deep and rich flavor to the whiskey. A perfectly balanced single malt with notes of fruit and spices. Yeah, here we go. And on the back, yeah, here on the tube on the back, uh, there are some tasting notes. Color, which always belongs to the tasting notes. Yeah, you eat with the eyes. Golden amber with hints of ruby red. Very soft in the nose and rounded with fruity notes of red apples. Palette, sherry character and fruity aromas balanced with a rich chocolate, toffee, cinnamon and ginger spiciness. Finish warming and lingering, sweet and very slightly spicy. So here we go. And uh, I had a sip already here. So I just have to add a little bit, which I took out of the glass. <clears throat> It's full, sherry rich, fruity, but this red apple, no, it's darker fruits. The sherry shows full aroma. Little sweetness on top, but uh, it's not this 
this juicy, sweet syrup uh, Pedro Jimenez sherry. No, this is Oloroso sherry, uh, which has by definition very few sweetness, but the fruitiness gives you an idea of sweetness. Full, complex in the nose. Quite light and lingering on the tongue. Uh, it's only 40% ABV and this helps to give it a wonderful, comfortable taste. Uh, it's not watery, no. Um, and then the oak develops, gives more, a little bit of spiciness. I can't taste any chocolate or bitterness or no ginger at all. So it's mellow, lightly sweet, very fruity, warming, well sipping whiskey, dangerously sipping whiskey. longer on your tongue then the spiciness develops and yes there is the ginger as well mm -hmm. so you have to have more for getting the spiciness and yeah a little bit of chocolate showing up as well but far away from bitterness you know a little vanilla coming through very little sweetness, probably a little caramel. It's a wonderful, balanced single malt whiskey. Yeah, I like it. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned, there's more to come as always. And feel free to add your comments in our whiskey database on whiskey.com.